Sienna, who we have adopted um, over, the, over the course of the last number of months. She has, let's give it up for Sienna. And last but certainly not least, um, the man who stood forward and became our campaign chairman in this state, no one worked harder for us, more loyal to us, nor will we owe a greater debt than to our chairman, Wayne McDonald. Wayne, thank you very much. We came to New Hampshire to bring a message that there's nothing more important than the safety and security of the American people, and that the next President of the United States must pay much more attention to that than the current one has. We came to New Hampshire to say that the government needs to once again work for the people, not the people work for the government. We came here to say that education should not put our children in debt for the next 20 or 30 years of their life, and we have to do better than that as a country for the next generation. We came to say that for our seniors, that someone needs to stand up and fix the Social Security system and fix the Medicare system so that it doesn't fail them or bankrupt our country. And we came here to say that speaking your mind matters, that experience matters, that competence matters, and that it will always matter in leading our nation. Uh, that message was heard by a lot of folks. And it was stood for by a lot of folks here in New Hampshire. Just not enough. Not enough tonight. And that's okay. Uh, for the people who have known me for a long time, and there's a lot of folks in this room who have, I have both won elections that I was supposed to lose, and I've lost elections I was supposed to win. And what that means is you never know. And it's both the magic and the mystery of politics that you never quite know when which is going to happen, even when you think you do. And so we leave New Hampshire tonight without an ounce of regret, not for the time we've spent and for the thousands of people tonight in New Hampshire who will have voted for us. We thank each and every one of them for the confidence that that vote represents in us as people and in us as servants. Uh, you know, Governor Larry Hogan, Governor Paula Page, Governor Charlie Baker are all people who understand both the burden and the opportunity of having the final decision to make in a place like a state. And I'm so proud, so proud to have their support for President of the United States because for folks who actually know what it's like to make a decision and be held accountable for it, to have their support has been an extraordinary display of loyalty and friendship. And so to Governor Hogan, who is here, and Governor LePage and Governor Baker, who I know are watching, I thank them for their friendship, their camaraderie, their understanding, and their love. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on his victory tonight here in New Hampshire. No, no, listen, you know what? Winning's never easy. And no one's ever given a victory. And the people of New Hampshire's Republican Party tonight have spoken very clearly that Mr. Trump is their preference in this election, and he deserves congratulations for that. The race will continue down the road to South Carolina and the other states as we move forward. But for New Hampshire, they have chosen their candidate tonight, um, and he deserves congratulations for that. And he has both my and Mary Pat's congratulations to he and Melania and their family on their victory tonight. Um, Mary Pat and I um, spoke tonight, and we've decided that we're going to go home to New Jersey tomorrow, and we're going to take a deep breath, um, see what the final results are tonight, because that matters, whether we're sixth or fifth, and exactly how all the final votes will be counted. And, because so many New Hampshire residents came out to vote today, it's going to take a while to count these votes. So we want to see exactly what happens. And so we're going to go home to New Jersey to wait by tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, we should know. Um, we should know what the vote count is, and that's going to allow us to make a decision um, about how we move from here 
um, in this race. Um, but there's no reason to go to sit in South Carolina in a hotel room to hear that. We'll go home. We haven't been home for two weeks, so we can actually get a change of clothes, <laughs> which would be a nice thing. Um, and <laughs> that's right. And so, so we will go home to New Jersey tomorrow morning. Um, we will make um, a decision on our next step forward um, based upon the results um, that come in here completed here in New Hampshire. Um, but on behalf of Mary Pat um, and Andrew and Sarah and Patrick and Bridget, um, we want to thank all of you for your friendship, for your support, for your love, for your confidence, um, and for your encouragement. Uh, we also thank the rest of our family who is here, my dad and his wife, Fran, my brother, Todd. <laughs>